Hey guys, I'm Jay Randall, and welcome back to my channel, where I discuss wisdom for the modern man. Today's topic, guys, is why men find it so difficult to leave relationships. Now, as we all know, most relationships are ended by women. That goes for uh, dating, boyfriend and girlfriend, and marriages, okay? Now, the reason why I'm bringing up this topic is because I counsel a few men on the side, okay? And one of the main issues that I am encountering when I'm counseling these men is their inability to walk away, despite the women they're dealing with having a slew of flaws and treating them poorly, okay? Now, I, I have to get to the bottom of this, so I asked them questions, because I was curious, is why is it why is it that all these men are finding it so difficult to leave even when they're in terrible situations? So initially when you ask them questions, they give you very surface level answers. Well, you know, I really care about her. Well, you know, I know her family and we, we're, we're really connected and all this other BS. It's, it's a bunch of nonsense, okay? You gotta ask, you gotta keep probing and ask the right questions to get to the real bottom line of what's going on. So, through the my experience speaking to men and getting to the bottom line as to why it is they find it so difficult to leave, I've come up with four common reasons that I've discovered why men find it so difficult to walk away from women who are bad for them. Now let's get right into it, okay? Reason number one, a lot of men find it very difficult to break up with their girl because the thought of her getting with another guy is too painful for them. Let's just be honest, okay? This is what I've noticed, okay? When you ask enough questions, these guys are just like, the thought of their girl being back up, they're back out there on the dating marketplace and just interacting with another guy, just, they can't, they can't imagine it. They, they'd rather stay in the horrible situation than let her move on. All right, this is this is what I've noticed uh, from a lot of guys who are inexperienced with women, okay? Not so much with guys who've had a couple of girlfriends here and there, but for the guys who've maybe had like one girlfriend or two, they attach really hard to that girl. So when they, to, the, to, to break that bond, to imagine her with someone else is painful, okay? So to that, I have to say, listen, Bro, there was likely someone there before you came along and there will be someone after you. Listen, okay? You gotta be able to let go, all right? If, if it helps you, then remember this. She's not yours, it's just your turn, okay? Now, that sounds a bit crude, a bit harsh, but if that's the way you have to keep it in your mind so that you can like distance yourself from that, then you got to, okay? Now listen, for the guys who are in this situation and they find it very difficult to detach from her emotionally and imagine her going out there on the dating marketplace, a lot of these guys, they'll tell me, bro, like they know the guys who've been trying to get at her and they know that she's gonna go directly to them and that just torments them. Bro, you must detach. You have to detach. And if it, if it helps you, employ the tactic that a lot of women use in relationships where they stay in the relationship but then they slowly detach so maybe you don't have to like completely jump ship but you can detach yourself slowly emotionally over time until you build up the courage to fully separate but you must you must cut that you have to cut that and you you have to go cold turkey bro you gotta cut all ties cut all contacts when you break up with her you shouldn't even know who she's dating or what's going on in her life because there should be no there should be no communication and you should not be having access to her instagram or her facebook you should not be checking up on her it should be just cut cut and dry she's gone but you gotta get over the fact that she's gonna move on to other guys that's just the way that's life okay get over it but that that's my advice for you that's the first reason i've noticed men find it find it very difficult to break up with bad women okay reason number two this one's big that woman tends to be their only source of sex now that is normal okay unless you were like in an open relationship or had some chicks on the side but 
most people are in monogamous relationships, which means you, she literally should be and probably was your only source of sex. So here's the thing. When a guy is going from having sex consistently to just all of a sudden just cut, just nothing, like back to jerking off, like that is gonna be, that guy's gonna think about that. That thought is gonna go through his head when he goes to um, basically make the decision if he should leave or not. That's gonna be a huge factor. Sex is big for men, okay? We all know this as guys. That's one of the main reasons men get into relationships at all. That's probably the biggest reason is for sexual access. So, and here's another thing. Unlike women, it's not easy for most men to just get out of one relationship and get into another relationship and then be able to have sex or just to go find a random casual hookup. Women can do that. So women don't have to analyze the sexual aspect of things when they leave a relationship. Men do though. Listen, so, so here's my advice when it comes to this. Look. I know it's gonna be difficult, right? I know that the sex and maybe you're, you're, you're starting to think and imagine like how she does it for you in the bedroom and how amazing this is. And that's starting to cloud your judgment. Sex clouds men's judgment so much, in so many different ways. But in this particular case, look, if you got to go back to a place of no sex or less sex or even getting back on the marketplace to go uh get into another relationship or you know figure it out again that is better okay that is better they're being in a dynamic in which you're being disrespected in which you're being cheated on in which you're just straight up not happy okay do not fear the loss of sex you can get more sex Okay, I promise you, when you get older, right? When you get older, you'll realize that your peace and your self-respect as a man is worth more than sex. Because oftentimes, when you really think about it, that girl you're dealing with, who's wrong for you, who's not treating you right, when you look back after a time has passed and you look back on their relationship, and then you ask yourself, man, you look back on all the stuff you put up with, all the BS you put up with, and you, you're gonna realize that the main reason you actually stuck in there most of the time for men is because, well, she was giving me sex. But when you think back on it, you're gonna be like, man, that wasn't even worth it. That wasn't even worth it. I could have got sex from a girl who actually was treating me right. I could have worked on myself and put myself in a better situation than been tolerating the nonsense she was putting up, she was putting me through. Bro, I'm telling you, when you look back on the situation years from now, take it from me, it's not worth staying in there for the sex. You can always get sex. And the older you get, the more attractive you build yourself to become, it's gonna become easier and easier. Sticking in a bad situation because you're afraid of her going out with another guy or you're not gonna be able to have sex for a while, it's not worth it, bro. It's not worth it, all right? If you need to be celibate for a little bit, do that. If you need to go back on the dating marketplace, do that but do not stay in a crappy situation because you're afraid to lose some sex. It's not worth it, okay? So that's, that's number two. Number three, here's another real big reason I've noticed. Loneliness, okay? We've all heard about the male loneliness epidemic and here's the real fact, bro. Here's the real truth. A lot of people in 2024, both men and women, are just straight up lonely. But right now I'm talking about men. Look, most of the time in relationships, which you shouldn't do by the way, but men make their girl the center of their world, okay? That's like the main person they talk to, that's the main person they, you know, communicate with, that's the main person they go out and do activities with. They like tend to even cut out their, their friends, their guy friends, don't even hang out with their guy friends anymore. Their girl literally becomes the center of their universe. Now, the problem with this is, that once that universe has been <laughs> pulled away, okay, she's no longer there anymore, you're just left with yourself. And that is terrifying. And I'm not even trying to crap on you. Like literally loneliness, anyone who's ever truly experienced like serious loneliness knows how, 
how much of an impact that has on the mind and the body. Okay, so I understand, I sympathize, I understand where you're coming from when you fear being alone. But listen, loneliness can be overcome. There are solutions to this, okay? Now, I have gone over this in, in another video, but I'll give a, a few quick um, suggestions, okay? I suggest you go out there and you get back in touch with your guy friends, okay? If you need to go back and, you know, get re in touch with them so you guys can, like, play video games online, you know, whatever the case may be. I know a lot of guys nowadays play video games. I don't play that much video games, but I know a lot of guys do. If you don't have people to meet up with, then I suggest you join groups, okay? Like groups that are centered around an activity. There's a lot of apps out there. I believe one is called Meetup, okay? And there's a slew of different uh, categories, different, different interests that you can uh, go into and you'll find communities based upon those interests. You go out there, you connect with those people and they have different meetups around the community so you can go out there and meet individuals who are interested in the same thing you are, right? That is another way to get out there and combat the loneliness you're experiencing, okay? But you cannot let the idea of you being alone keep you in a horrible relationship because that is not ideal. I promise you, it'll eat away at you and you, at the end of the day, will become incredibly miserable by doing that okay so if you're lonely i understand that go out there do your best to make friends talk to people be social um and try to connect with individuals in any way that you can okay if you have family members that you've gotten out of touch with a brother or sister right reach out reach out let them know okay if you have some a family member that you're really close with and you can really talk to let them know what you're going through you got a friend that you're really close with that you can talk to let them know what you're going through and get those people back into your life to help you handle that loneliness okay because it's not good because loneliness leads to depression and depression leads to self-deletion that's not what we're looking for okay so that is number three loneliness now number four now this one right is this is this one's kind of sad this one hurts to admit a lot of men find it very difficult to admit and i had to kind of pull this out of the guys that i was mentoring i had to really pull this out of them because this, this is hard to admit number four is the reason why men find it very difficult to leave relationships is because they truly don't think they can do any better is very very painful but eye-opening watching a man come to that conclusion for himself right through questions just leading him to the answer they truly a lot of men truly they have a girlfriend disrespecting them cheating on them lying to them you know giving them anxiety because they don't know what she's where she's at or what she's doing and she's this and that or she just cuts contact for a, a, a day or two and he doesn't know what's up with that and they don't think they can do better than that as bad as they are being treated, that's the best they think they can do. The thought, the, the idea that there's a girl out there that will respect them, treat them well, and just love them and appreciate them. They truly can't imagine themselves in that scenario. They're thinking like, well, I'm lucky to get this terrible chick. This is the, I'm lucky she's even dealing with me. And a lot of times this happens, I've, I've noticed, with men who are, once again, inexperienced with women, and they view the girl either due to inexperience or just a lack, or maybe they got the girl by the skin of their teeth, but typically they view the girl as better than them. They put the girl on a pedestal. Perhaps they view the girl as super attractive and themselves as like super unattractive. So they, they see this disparity in value or at least an attraction between themselves and the girl. So because of that now, they think that they got lucky by getting this girl. They think that this is the best that they can do because they're down here and she's up there. And if they leave this girl, well, who else is gonna want them? Who else is gonna get with me? Who else is gonna give me sex? Listen, guys, now, this is a self-esteem issue okay 
and there's a lot of ways to work on self-esteem. But first of all, let me tell you this, okay? And I don't care how you look, I don't care what situation you find yourself in or how you view yourself. You can, you can do better, okay? Whatever treatment she's putting you through, you can do better. And that's not, that's regardless of your circumstances, okay? And I know that may, that may be difficult to believe because you've spent so much time just beating yourself up and viewing yourself as less than. Or maybe she's even, you know, because I've, I've heard from guys who, who uh, their, their girl literally tells them that they're lucky, that you're not going to find another girl who's going to do this, who's going to do that. And that actually gets in their head. I'm like, yeah, you know what? She's probably right. She's wrong. She's absolutely wrong, okay? You can do better. And perhaps for most people, doing better may or probably will come at the cost of self-improvement, okay? But that doesn't mean you can't do better. I I would rather leave a terrible situation, self-improve, and then get better for myself, okay? You need to work on your self-esteem, guys. And part of uh, you know, viewing yourself in a better light is your physicality, okay? A lot of guys are just in bad shape, okay? A lot of guys have let themselves go. So when they look in the mirror, they don't even see an attractive individual, okay? They view themselves as attractive by them having a girl. Like, that's the metric that they, in which they view themselves as attractive. Well, I was able to get a girl, therefore I must be attractive. They don't view themselves as attractive without the girl. So if the girl's not there, it's like their view of themselves just plummets even lower if they lose the girl. So they rather stay and then rationalize to themselves, well, you know, at least I got a girl. So at least I'm attracted to somebody. Somebody wants to be with me. Despite the fact that she's putting them through absolute hell. Look, you can do better. You need to work on your self-esteem. Okay, first of all, get in the gym, okay? You need to look in the mirror without anybody else being in the situation or commenting or uh, assessing your worth or your attractiveness, you need to be able to look in the mirror and view yourself as attractive. And that starts with your physique, your physical appearance, okay? So if you need to lose weight, which most men need to do, lose weight, put on some muscle, okay? The second thing is your sense of style. That's another thing that's going to boost your confidence. But it has to start with the with your, your physical first because you have to be in shape then when you put on you know better clothes your fashion the clothes are gonna fit better okay when they fit better on you they're gonna look better all right so those two things right there already are going to improve the way you look at yourself bro when you can look in the mirror with your shirt off and just be like damn i look good i look good off that alone Regardless of what anybody else says, you think you look good. You think you look attractive. You think you look sexy. And objectively, you 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 know other people will find you that way, bro. I'm telling you, it's gonna change your worldview on how you view yourself. A lot of men have low, have low self esteem and low confidence because they don't put any effort into themselves, and they're looking for other people to validate whether or not they're attractive. And that's why they stick with the girl. Okay. You need to work on your physical appearance, dress better. Another thing that also helps is get regular haircuts, bro. There's something about a fresh haircut that just makes a guy feel better about himself. You just boosts your confidence. You just feel like that guy, okay? So get haircuts. If you need to get a haircut weekly so you can maintain that when you look in the mirror and you see yourself and you just feel like, damn, I look good, then you need to do that. So guys, start with, start with what's in your control, okay? Men, you need to start with what's in your control, okay? Your physical appearance is what's in your control, okay? The way you dress, your haircut, how you smell, okay? Get good colognes, get nice fragrances, nice scented lotions, okay? Take care of yourself. When you start feeling good, looking good, smelling good, dressing good, okay? Those are all things that are within your control, okay? Start working on your finances, okay? Start strategizing ways and goals to, to make more money, that's also gonna make you feel good because men derive a sense of worth and a sense of value from their status in life, okay? How much money they make. If you're constantly broke 
and you're living paycheck to paycheck and you don't see any way out of that, well, that's going to reflect on how you view yourself. You're going to view yourself a lot of times as a loser. Okay. And if you're not at that place yet, that's okay. But you need to be putting yourself and really starting to strategize on ways to better your financial situation. Because when you better your financial situation, you're going to be more confident in yourself. Okay. So that is the four ways that I've noticed that as as the reason for why men find it very difficult to leave relationships. Now, I hope I was able to give some advice on how to overcome those things so that you guys can truly, you know, leave your horrible situation and find better for yourself. But that's all for today, guys. If you got value from the video, please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, guys. Take it easy.